Good afternoon on Tuesday the 6th of September and I hope that the return to school did go well for everyone. And don't forget that for those parents whose children are coming to school at St Aidan's for the first time, the reception class children, that the church is open after they drop their children off so that instead of standing on the street corner, maybe in rain or a howling gale down St. Aidan's Avenue, they can take shelter in the church as they chat to each other about their experiences and their child's experience. Our opening prayer. Loving Lord, we are aware of our human shortcomings. We ask that by your Holy Spirit, you give us strength to work for that which is good, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our readings today are Micah chapter 7, verses 18 to 20, and Psalm 107. This afternoon I want to pick up on part of my thought from yesterday, and to think a little bit more about leadership and the human interaction which takes place around it. In particular, I want to continue to think about loyalty. At times in the conservative leadership context, it seemed that people's loyalty was skin deep as they seemed to transfer that loyalty on a daily basis to another candidate. Past grudges, once again, shot to the surface. Things which we thought had been consigned well and truly to the past. One MP, when asked who they were backing, replied, the one who'll pay me most. I hope that the remark was intended as a joke, albeit a very bad one. Today's reading is the end of Micah's prophecy. Like many of the other prophets, he has highlighted the people's total disregard for God and the people around them. But the ending of this prophecy is truly wonderful and uplifting. The focus is a reminder about the ongoing nature of God's forgiveness. For us, all these centuries after Micah, we know that the price of this forgiveness was Jesus dying for us. And we also know that Jesus doesn't bear grudges or decide that he's going to forgive some and not others. Jesus doesn't move the goalposts relating forgiveness or say that it doesn't apply to people who have been disloyal to him at some time because I'm certain that every human being at some time has in fact not been loyal to Jesus. Jesus is always prepared to forgive provided that we genuinely seek his forgiveness. Our next prayer focuses on our community. Loving Lord, we give thanks that you are already everywhere. We pray for the areas of Mill Hill, Gallagher's, Bank Top and Whitton. We think of everyone who lives in them, all who work there, and those who pass through these areas in their daily lives. We ask that you give us the eyes to see your vision for these places. Amen. And for today's prayer points, I'm going to pick up on some of the priorities which will be in the intray of our new Prime Minister. And first of all, let's continue to pray about the war in Ukraine and the implications of it. Then let's pray about the impact of the increase in the cost 
cost of living on everyone's lives. And pray that we have a reliable food supply, remembering the hard work of our farmers. The Lord's Prayer, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I do hope that you all enjoy your evening and our blessing for today. To Jesus, the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honour, glory and power forever and ever. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and all those who you love today and remain with you forevermore. Amen.